is going to happen. I think you're standing on some cables. Am I saying? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if that fixed it or not, but now it's fixed. So, all right. All right. All right. We're all good. All right. Start it over. Start the day over. Reset the groups. Okay. Here we are. Seat Story Cup number three. This is the last match of day two. The last player into the round of 16. We'll be going now. It's going to be Nimsh or Toyda. Hype. Did you watch? I did. The last series? I did. What do you think about this Hunter deck? It's pretty good, except for when your web spinner gives you the beast and you give them two Finkles. Other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty some good. bad luck right there. But I do love the Baron Riven Dare Bomb interaction. What's the, name of, what's the name of the card that silences all your minions? Wailing Soul. Yep. I wish he, that he would have drawn his Wailing Soul to deal with that beast. Oh, yeah, that would have been good. Oh. Better in G, man. Yeah. Never lucky. <laughs> I'm really excited. You know, I have a theory that I came up with on how he constructed the deck. Okay. He started making a Hunter deck, and he like got all the cards that he thought was good, and he's like, you know what? Let me try a Feign Death in here. And then he tripped and moved the mouse like this and hit, like, leave the deck, and it auto-filled. The rest like of a the Heelbop is a Kazan. I think there's 40 cards in there. I'm not sure. There's a, right around there. Uh, I'm just hoping there's a Kel'Thuzad to go with the Baron over there. <laughs> Bombs for days. That's amazing. I think he'd be full of spider tokens too quickly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so hopefully we'll get this started pretty quickly here. Any yeah. predictions, guys? Yeah. Is it going to be Nymsh or is it going to be Toyda? Um, I don't care, as long as we get to see that Hunter deck. Oh, we're going to see it. We're going to see it three games in yeah. fact, So <laughs> No worries there. All right. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's do it, yeah. man. Let's get it started. All right, I think it's starting. He, he's proving all the haters wrong who say you don't have like the room in your hunter deck to put in. Oh, we're cards. actually watching the wrong person here. Yeah, so you have to watch. Uh, Toyde. Toyde. Okay. Cool. All right, here we go, guys. It's be Nimsh versus Toyde. Oh, and it's a hunter deck. Oh boy. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> now it's got to be pretty good against Warrior with. So, uh, potential multiple Savannah high main tokens. Oh, he tosses. Okay, he tosses everything. Yeah, I guess that's at the top end of his deck. So you don't know what he's it. looking for in this. I have no. <laughs> <laughs> looking for some explosive traps, I think uh, maybe. No, web, <laughs> web spinners into high mains because you know fills it. Well, curve. he needs the the Riven Dare right to to get the multiple high mains off of one web spinner. Oh, that, that makes There's sense. There's the web spinner. We're yeah. almost there. Halfway to the dream. All right. There's a lot of death rattles. Okay, so it's ah. looking pretty good already. By the way, the, the ban, he banned Nimsh's Hunter, and Nimsh banned his Shaman. Not yeah, it surprised. makes sense. You don't really want to run into face Hunter with this Hunter. Mm. Why? You play heal bots and, and taunts. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, okay. I mean, you play heal bots in Hunter. He How can you lose a mirror? <laughs> that, is, that actually makes a lot of sense. He has heal bots in all, all three of his decks. I don't know all the other decks. cards in the deck. <laughs> Kazan and heal bot and Ooh. sludge bunches. That's a freaking no. good tag for a mirror. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, okay. Well, this is this is actually the biggest mystery ever in Hearthstone. And if you want the deck list, of course, you can find it at TempoStorm.com. Yep. I think it is. I don't know if you deck. will become legendary with this deck. Though. <laughs> this is still like under testing. Of course, of course. The Jungle Panther. I am a fan of the Jungle Panther. Yeah. It's almost good. It's like yeah, a third it's, animal it's companion. It's like a, a, a delayed. Um, a delayed huffer? Yeah, it rolls huffer every time. Yeah. And you could put the you can houndmaster it. It's a little That's safe. That's true. But no one plays it. it. Makes me sad. Yeah. Well, he's gonna play it this time. So he has a good answer for the armor smith next turn or the almost good card. Yes. But wait, which which uh secret is that? Oh, it's explosive. Yeah. Okay. I think he only runs explosive, mm -hmm. right? No. No. He has oh. three secrets. <laughs> okay. He has two freezings and an explosive That's that fine. we've seen. Yeah, I maybe think there's a misdirection yeah. in there that we haven't seen yet, but... Makes sense. Or like yeah. the snake trap. Like, we haven't seen all cards of the deck yet. The snake trap to go with the knife juggler? <laughs> yeah. And you have to get the juggler from the shredders. Which yeah, but did. he has two shredders, which means yeah, with the, pain the death, that's like infinity. Seems to have no qualms about just quick shotting just for no draw. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You well, you can't here. ever empty your hand with this deck. Yeah. But against a warrior, you really want that value. Yeah. Uh, he picks up a four drop anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. I'm sure with the second Cruel Taskmaster, though, going to kill this. But he, he really didn't adopt the, the face hunter mentality. Like the, he goes face way too less. 
like even with this deck, I know he runs one kill command, one quick shot. But sometimes, if you have like, if you push one more time for four damage, it can matter so much with Hunter. Mm. Yeah. If he would have went face with the four damage and he weapons it out, it's eight phase damage, and it matters so much. It doesn't matter what kind of Hunter you play. I would be tempted to death spite here because I know his deck isn't that aggressive, and I would be pushing for more value. Get the free kill on the Jungle Panther, but it looks like he's gonna. Cool Taskmaster. Right. I don't know exactly Second what Second RNG, let's see what it gets. Oh, I can't wait. What exactly is this guy doing? Just pointing at him for one damage? <laughs> I think that's what it is. He's got very strong hands. Oh. All right. just, Toy is happy. He wants that. He's like, I can give me more heals. <laughs> he would now, play that card. Now, how does he protect this? He, he plays a Sludge Belcher to protect, right? <laughs> Obviously. You've got to protect it. But the thing is, if you have the Sludge Belcher, you're not going to take any damage, and the Vitality Totem doesn't work. This is a tricky one. Yeah. And he's losing out on that Death Rattle. You know, so all Chris Ribbon there and his stuff. Maybe a little sad about that. Nimsh's hand just looks perfect to deal with this Hunter. He's had, like, the right around amount of removal and, like, these great six drops. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. What? This is a little messy on turn five here, though. I don't think that... The warrior is gonna lose this, but we'll see. Well, no, I mean the hunter deck probably isn't gonna win any games today, right? <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> come on, like. <laughs> I mean, if it does, does that's awesome because it's like. Did you guys ever see the movie Rudy? <laughs> this is like a Rudy oh. deck. This might win the last game of the night. Okay. <laughs> it's a resounding. Uh, endorsement of a deck. This is a Rudy deck. <laughs> yeah, it might win once. It's like Rudy was like the benched guy in what, college was, football. Was, and was this Hunter banned to the first series? Oh, in the first series? Yeah. I don't. Let me check. Actually, that would be interesting, right? <laughs> yeah, it was banned by RDU. <laughs> oh, what a misplay! And RDU actually ended up going 0-6. <laughs> what, a, what a misplay! <laughs> that was a big misplay. <laughs> if you only knew. It. That's probably why he ended up losing to Nim. She heard what was in the deck that he banned. <laughs> and that's something. You can work with that. <laughs> yeah, we could see like a quick shot on his and Sylvanas at some point. Oh, or kill command. It. No, come on, you got a man up. He's too greedy. He's waiting for the for the Fain Death the combo. I'm fine with just waiting until you're behind on board, though, with the Sylvanas. You got 30 HP and a Vitality Totem. Yeah, yeah. Kara, what are you talking about? Of course he's waiting for Fain Death. That's the whole point of this deck. Wait for your one Fain Death Totem. You think he only has one? Eventually. He has to have two. I mean, this, this will go to fatigue almost, right? So <laughs> it's it almost did last time. Yeah. Kara, did you already tell the story about what happened when you tried Fain Hunter? It didn't... Like, the, the, the egg game... Oh, just when you're in China and you're playing Fain Death Hunter, you're like, okay, I think I'm onto something here. Fain Death Hunter, it's working out. I'm about to hit Legend until you D rank twice and then you switch to Face Hunter and you got it in 20 minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's actually what happened. Yeah. Yeah, Fain Death. Yeah, that's also last day of the season. I I play all decks and then I switch to Face Hunter and then I ch climb like that. Um. Whenever I play against Face Hunter on ladder, I'm always like, who are you? A guy against me. What do you What do you get out of this? How do you, do you really enjoy this? And then I was watch, I was uh, sitting next to Gar once playing Face Hunter, just cackling the whole time for a good <laughs> hour. I'm like, okay, I get it now. I get it. <laughs> do you oh, not play any Face plays Hunter two quick shots. Of course. Yeah, yeah. That's how he draws into his feign deaths. Uh, a, he really like, like whenever we f we think he plays just one offs, right? He, <laughs> plays the he draws the second. Card. You wait until you see the second animal companion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then I don't understand why he's playing so defensively all the time. Uh. And why don't you attack first? You How did he know that that was going to be the minion that was stolen? Well, That's been, the real question. Yeah, it could have been. The t I think he wanted to steal the totem, and just get the free trade. Oh mm. uh, yeah. I and see. if this got stolen, he would have quick shotted it. You have to play way more aggressive when you play two quick shots. Mm. I don't know about. I would be tempted to save it for my Savannas, but I guess what are you really going to steal? That's uh, mm. worried at this point because Doctor Boom, you're not going to steal. Well, this is like, uh, I'm going to be really sad if he wins with this straight up. 
Actually. I know that sounds mean and stuff. He, but... he has two shield maidens, man. There's no way. Uh -huh. Don't get your hopes up. What You're right. Now? Until he steals the shield maidens. I'm still a believer, but... Looks like he wants to hold on to the death bite. You know there's Savannah's in the deck, but... Okay. Oh, I guess because the Acolyte, he really wants to get the draw. Mm. Wait, and now he attacks it with the death spite? That doesn't make any sense. No, no, no. Yeah, he was like... He was He's sure. just damaging the totem, don't worry. Attacks it once more and it it's dies. Two more turns. <laughs> <laughs> Amount of damage that... Oh, okay, yeah. No, that makes sense. He can draw a fact collect if he wants to. Mm. I think he wants to just actually hit something with the death bite. He'll just take the turn to play one. Oh, I thought he'd play just one of the other six drops. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no need to kill it. You could kill a Hyman with the death spite charge. Oh, wow. Huh. I guess you can also trade with the Emperor. And it's so likely the Emperor will survive more than one turn. Yeah. I don't know if the, the mana cost of the cards in his hand really matters here. Nothing to have, Master. Uh, Ignite drew Force of Nature Savage Room Poker, apparently. He's <laughs> talking about combo. That's a mediocre hand. Is this how we call it? Yeah, that Houndmaster doesn't... Ha he has three beasts in the deck. I'm surprised he doesn't have one right now. <laughs> <laughs> to taunt up here. <laughs> he lost his, uh, his one, be uh, one beast <laughs> yeah. to the opponent. Oh my god, I you know, it's getting late here, it's like 2.30 a.m. And I just kind of glance out of the corner of my eye, I saw Yusera, I'm like, there's no way he plays Yusera in this Hunter deck, what is going on? <laughs> that was so cool. That would be the sickest. Yusera's weak to a second freezing trap, that's about it, right? Hmm. Oh, he wants to just get more armor. Makes sense. That's such a sick play that you can still armor up after playing shield with an echo light. It's pretty good. 14 health? Yeah, that's alright. Things I know pretty much what's in this deck now, I think. Yeah. I just don't know what the hell he could draw to have any chance in this game. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Just the BGH for like even the most best Ragnaros shots. No Toyota. <laughs> I wonder. She's probably gonna let the Emperor sit for the freezing trap and kill the shield maiden. Or I guess no I don't know what he's gonna do. Mind if I roll yeah, me? this is well, if he doesn't kill the... I don't know, he could kill that with his 4-3. But Yeah, you'd probably hit Tarzan with that, right? No? Okay. Ah, the Leper Gnome. That'll do it. <laughs> Fine, Def Leper Gnome's still left in the deck. <laughs> Dream is still alive. <laughs> Especially with Baron Rivendare, man. Yo, yeah. Imagine if he drew Baron Rivendare oh. and... You know. Into Faint Death with the loot order. Yeah. And then he can deal six damage with the lip. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. For one mana. <laughs> it's pretty sick. <laughs> now, I gotta ask, theoretically hyped, uh... What would be a good matchup for this Hunter deck? I thought it was good against Control Warrior. It has like all these, like the two Savannas, the Sylvanas, the Doctor Boom. Watch, no, one, Watching one this, do you think it is good What's against one Only one high man. Okay. Looked like it. Okay. He didn't draw the second one yet. Well, I think Gara was saying it should be good against Face Hunter with the heals and the taunts. Yeah. Okay. But he bans it, so that's very confusing. You play Kazan, and then you ban the secret deck. Just putting it out Wait here. A minute. But he, like, as, as, as Crip mentioned earlier, it should be Freeze Mage, right? You have the Kazan and you have the heal bots. And you play Hunter. Yeah. 
Dr. Mumei is the draw he was looking for. And the Shredder. Oh, man. But this game takes so long with the center deck. Because it can stall. Yeah, he is at 30. Yeah, that is true. He's at very high health. There's your Sarah Awakens out, though. Then it's very confusing that he plays the heal bot, right? He never dropped low in the games. It always took so long. Yeah. I feel like this deck came up in a fever dream. <laughs> Now he's gonna win the entire tournament just to prove all the haters wrong. You know what would That's be funny bomb for four. is if you know how in the round of eight you had to resubmit decks. It's this deck, but he added a major domo to it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sick? Because isn't his death rattle putting up a rag? So he gets the death rattle and he still has the nine seven. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you two rags? You could no, no, double no. rag yourself. That's a way that you could yeah. heal yourself. If he gets you down to one from eight, you, you could go right back up to eight. You kind of have two heroes, though. Huh? The one rag would replace sure? the other Has rag. Has anyone tested it? No one's tested it yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody did. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't do that in Tempo Storm and Cockatrice before you came yeah. here? Yeah. Huh. Seems like you guys came unprepared for Toy Day. <laughs> we didn't go to the Blizzard headquarters to test that specific <laughs> combo. So Fain Death, Major Domo. <laughs> the new meta. <laughs> How does this work exactly? Ah! Alright, we're getting there. I mean, it's good. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's Yusera Awakens here. I can't imagine Major Domo Rag ever being like a positive effect for yourself. Like, when do you heal yourself back up to eight? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's like a heal bot from one almost. <laughs> yes. Like a shield block? Shield block armor up from one? That's you, a good play. You, he you heal yourself up and you can still play Moldens for free. <laughs> oh no, no you, you can't. can't. You can't. You, can't. you can literally never worse. play a Molten yeah, with that. It's like worse than Jurek. But do you know what you could do with that? Half life. You, no, no. Listen to this. You use the hero power, and then you you feign death, and then you can use the hero power again because it refreshes your hero. Oh, the hunter deck lost. Oh, you feign death that, kill the whole board. Wait, wait, wait. Atosis, are you figuring out a new OTK combo here? Yeah. <laughs> so you have major domo. <laughs> yes. Feign death. Feign death. Yeah. Right. Wait. You use your hunter power, right? Then feign death power. <laughs> Bane death, power. Bam eight, bam eight. So that's that's eighteen. That's eighteen damage right there. That's Tell me that's sweet. not awesome. Alright, so Nymph wins with that warrior deck. Wait, wait. If you combo it with the with the the snee uh, this needle sniper, can you actually target his face and it's not random? Just dang. Probably not. P probably can't. Like you can't even that. armor minions with that when you get that out of something. Yeah, but it is actually made for the hunter hero power, right? Yeah. And it says you can target with your hero power. So maybe it actually works. It could. I f I'm pretty sure nobody tested it yet. Yeah. Not the, yet. The faint death steam wheels. These are the questions we need to know. OTK hunter deck <laughs> with heal bots. Oh, look, we got Eek up on the couch with us. Toy is saving his hunter to anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Switch for the mage for now. Oh, so mage versus mage. Okay. And it's actually... Uh, okay, so it's actually going to be like the uh, the tempo mage against mech mage. What do you guys think about this now that we have an actual match? Yeah. Worm is nice it's in like regards to how they, how they line up against each other. Huh? Worm is nice, the one drop. Oh, okay. It's a little ahead, but it... Which, which deck would you favor generally with this? I am actually not that familiar. I think Lothar is. Uh, if he wants to weigh in. <laughs> I, I think that the Temple Mage, but you have to draw the Temple cards, obviously, not be behind in Temple. Like, if you play Kazan Mystic plus a free Mirror Entity, that is like an insane Temple play. Mm. 
I think you mean Kirin Tor, but yeah, Kazan yeah, would also be a free one. <laughs> I watch the Santa deck way too often. Uh. And, like, why is he not playing the Hunter deck now? It's like the only good matchup for him. Like, theoretical. He has Sans, the heal bots and stuff. Maybe he thought it was going to be against the Druid, which he doesn't feel is a good matchup. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Job done. All right. I'm excited about the unstable portals. He's gonna unstable portal like cards from his other deck, yeah. The okay. He likes the RNG in the game. Well, I think in practice it probably went pretty well for him to have fielded that deck. Powering up portals online. Job done. I feel like his opponents in practice might have just got bored of the deck. They're like, yeah, man, it's good. I'm no, no, go ahead. Run yeah. it. It's it's fine. People are going to be really caught off guard. They were like, oh, I, I had I had 80% win risk. Ah, 85. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Really valuing the coin for coin flame stack, I guess. Doesn't want to portal this turn. Hmm. Okay. I guess he is supposed to be clearing with a hand like this. <laughs> but his hand is kind of... Oh man, he likes to put in here. Like, why would you put heal but in a temple mage? That doesn't make so much sense. Well, it's Toyta, so he has uh, very he's, different he's ideas really, always. He really likes to take decks against, like, everything. Hmm. Maybe this deck is too teched. Well, all of his decks are like super, super teched out. Even his priest had some cool stuff in it. That, that yeah. uh, resurrect. Yeah. Yeah. He's the only resurrect priest player. Yeah. yeah. I'll show them. I'll show them all. All right, well, flame strike coming up soon. Yeah, that that flame strike is actually going to pay off, uh, saving the coin here. I'm just running out of cards. Hmm. Yeah, he can just unsave a portal. Yeah, yeah. Counter Might counter spell. spell as well. If you're going to flame strike next turn, then yeah, counter spell is freaking terrible against free spare parts. Well, he has yeah, yeah. He has coin flame strike and earth ring on his uh, turn six. Hmm. Yeah, saving the counter spell, I guess. Mm. I mean, if you oh, want, I guess he just doesn't want him to think about flame strike at all. I think that's what this yeah, is. Yeah, but if you want to ping something, you ping that four too. It's like it doesn't tell anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that you're is right. Awkward. Why would you ping the free four? That has to make because you don't want him to use a plus one armor thing on it. Oh, but if you do that, that gives away that you're gonna flame strike too. That 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 is just that is actually giving away that he has a flame strike. To yeah. be honest, like if someone would do this random ping, it's sh showing. Blizzard or flame strike? Yeah, yeah. Why would you not ping the four two? Like you watch, he's just gonna ping and pass. He knows that's like. What to do? Well, attack too. He's like he's yeah. With only one creature in your hand, you are really afraid of AOE. Yeah. He smelled something fishy. You know, if he draws an Antonitis, woof. I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not pinging the Tinker Town was kind of a. Yeah, that's, that's a big the, deal. That's a big giveaway. Like, he, it would have been a quick turn for him, I think. But then, like, he it gives him, uh, like, makes him think, why would you ping the free four? <laughs> like, it doesn't yeah. make any sense. No, not at all. Um, it's like the worst. That's mage. like. It, that's what a freeze mage does against you, you know? That's, yeah. Yeah, it's like you have a cone of cold and a blizzard coming up, but yeah. this, I don't know. But if he wants to fl uh, set up flame strike, it's even better because now he would kill the 4 2, right? It's just to take less damage. I the pinging the 3 3 just. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was 100% telegraphing, but it is <laughs> getting late here. He's probably getting a little bit tired, especially after having to play uh, four games so far with that Hunter deck. Yeah. <laughs> that is a tiring thing indeed. So is it gonna give him the fuss here? Yeah. It's the weakest minion he has. Yeah. My eyes are open. 
I really wonder if Grimsh would have played the t uh, spider tank if he would have just pinged the 4-2. Uh, if he had pinged the 4-2, he would have played it, I think, because that's really telegraphing that you're going to re-ping yep. it the next turn. And that your hand just kind of has some expensive stuff, so yeah, I think definitely. That's a pretty sick turn with the spider tank into last mage. Yeah. Okay, actually, he's actually picking up some value. Yeah. So you have to fireball. Yeah, fireball honestly wouldn't be bad, but yeah, he's gonna go for the drake first. What to do? To draw a frostbolt. That would be nice. I'm pretty sure he has frostbolts as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like whenever he's fishing, I'm pretty There's sure. There's been more he's and more mage decks lately without frostbolt in them. Yeah. But not tired. He's running at least one frostbolt. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know what the snow chugger really does there, except for slow things down. Yeah, because he's playing so much for value, and then he just throws the snow chugger he, out. He's using up all mana. Okay, so he doesn't take five damage. Ma from that. Mana efficient turn. Baron Geddon or whatever. He should have pinged down one of the the five four, make him think another yeah, flame strikes on the way. He, sh he should have picked the five four. <laughs> It's just to confuse him. <laughs> it's like, wait, the 3 yeah. 4. I mean, Why would you do the 3 I 4 and not the 5 if 4? If you do it once, maybe he can like trick him into not playing another minion again. So you think Toyde is basically programming Nymphs right now? <laughs> yeah. I wonder. This is actually like a Pavlovian dog or Super something. Super heavy advanced mind yeah. games. And the thing is, it's not even going to work here. It's going to be like three tournaments, like four months from now, where he starts, he like he pings something and like <laughs> Nymphs begins to drool. <laughs> and then does what Toyde wants him to do. What to do? Got a plan ahead in our zone. <laughs> yeah. That's very, very thorough planning. You watch. This is where the blizzard ping comes into play. It's a perfect play, that snow chugger. You obviously hit the 5-4 stealth up with the Ragnaros. That is the best move right there. <laughs> That's obviously the best play. I mean, here's the he actually the hero is not so what terrible to even. What to you kill the 3-2, you have to kind yeah. of. Yeah. Shut down the yeah. max. I mean, Ragnaros will stay, stay there for a bit, at least two turns, except he trades. And fireballs, but then he loses the game instantly. What to do? So he has to dodge to swag. Do? He's probably thinking about something we are not thinking about. What, what could he be thinking about? Like what we are not. What could he be thinking about? Yeah. Um, kind of spell, sludge belcher, sort of, kind of. It's not bad, I think, because he like he like needs the only re reason I saw it this mage deck win is because he got rag to just stick on the board. So maybe he knows he needs that to win. Mm. I mean, he knows the so belcher wouldn't be too bad, but he knows the opponent has still two spare parts. Yeah, hopefully he's been keeping track. I would think he is. Uh, wow, that's I find I find that very surprising. Yeah, because no, but that that doesn't make sense it because. Is. Yeah, I don't like you it. You trade all. when you play the Ragnaros. You don't trade when you play the Sludge Belcher. Right? But now he just pings. I not just said he hit the guy that needs a mech out to have the plus attack. Yeah. I know this guy's frozen and that's cool and all, but Yeah, but you want to shut down yeah, the Tinker Town, the Blast yeah. Mage number two. It just seems like that was not the best that was target. Wonder. Yeah, well, like Like the Sludge Belcher doesn't really protect anything here. Why, like, why would you not just play the rag? Like, I don't like. It. I think he really wants the rag to live. He wants the rag to live but, so bad. But how will the rag live? <laughs> well, when his opponent has no cards in hand, you drop the rag, and that's it. No cards in hand, no cards on board. It's hard to kill rag from that. Oh, he he's not expecting counter spell. Like, who would play counter spell when you have two spell pots in your hand? That's actually very good mind games. <laughs> Could be. There's no way you would expect counter spell. Oh, He didn't expect it, he just wanted to taunt. Got him.
Nim's just playing so carefully. I think he's like slightly confused too. What to do? Okay, now he can't Ragnaros and kill that off. Super annoying. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought he was going to spare power. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I guess you go for the for the trait and heal bot what elemental. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, if you didn't play Rag before, you can't play in this Yeah, turn. yeah, yeah. I don't know, like, the way how he sets up Rag is so weird. Well, I mean, he's still at a pretty high health, and he's got, like, yeah. he's got heal, so, he's got removal. His, he knows his minions are just better overall, so I, I kind of get it. I wonder. That's a start. And Nimsh is, yeah, breaking. Just, he really wanted high value stuff. He's not getting anything. Mm. Yeah, like, that hand would be good if he wouldn't play a, a oh, heal nice bot. Uh, looks like he, yeah, clean this up. Fireball's the water elemental, Frostbolt's the other one. Good to go. Nice. Uh, so now Nimsh knows as long as he hits one, he should, his rag should be safe. I mean, toy them, but that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you play this because ping doesn't really do so much, mm. and you might kill even the the target you ping. Who am I expecting? Ah, uh, yeah, you should be on Nimsh. Yeah. Never lucky, baby rage. <laughs> so you can get the rag to one. So that ship is a mech, but it's not a good mech. I yeah, but wonder. the ra wait, that's, that's yeah, the rag dies next turn to ping. So that's, that's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah. And you clear the mad scientist. It's actually really, really good. Yeah, you only have to take eight for it. But. Then he is left with a snow chucker, which he can't play this turn. What to do? Well, he what could play it this do? turn. Is he just gonna go to face? Oh yeah, he can still play it. Yeah, I mean, even if he dies to wreck, well, you don't take the risk. I mean, yeah. you have 30 life. Yeah, you gotta trade into this rag. You, like, it's all Toyd has. It's the only way he can yeah. win his rags. Yeah. Just kill it. I mean, he uses also, also fireball frostbolt. He can't really hope to top deck. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if he just goes face, that would be so bad. Because the, the he can just ping the sheep. Mm. Look Wreck how long that arrow is on that screen. I think Nimsh is a bot. Oh. <laughs> All right, mirror entity. That's a good. Yeah. But, yeah. What it's good. Do? What it's better than Counterspell. <laughs> For sure. Duplicate would have been nice. That would have been sick. Yeah. What about a Vaporize, guys? That would have been pretty cool, too. <laughs> oh, man. That's that's the card you want to see. <laughs> Always. But the thing is, he will not play... He can't play Ping... Snow Chugger well, and Dr. Boom. I mean, maybe you could let Ragley if you play four creatures. That's actually a tough decision. But I think Nimsh has time. I mean, you have to ping 100%. No, no, no. If you play, if you play both the creatures, you could let the Rag RNG. Yeah, but and he'd man. probably hit a bot, and then the bot kills him. Ugh, do you go for that? No, but he can he can afford to take that Lothip smack to the face. Just wait. Thing is, he has to know this is most likely a mirror entity, right? So he has to snow chugger. Yeah. Which I mean, means he would. Chugger. Yeah, I mean, it's either hope do that the ping doesn't do hit the right thing. Do go for the Dr. Boom risk. Yeah. He goes for it. He goes for it. All right. Someone is going to be sad after this turn. <laughs> That's for sure. Wow. Wait, 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 wait a second. Nine plus seven is 16. <laughs> wait a second. 17, Russian. he can take him to four HP. Russian roulette. Hmm. 
He can kill him, man. Easiest kill of his life. Did you watch Rodan earlier? I did watch that. Easy. He will snipe him face. Easy. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's 20% that to just win straight up here. Yeah. And if he hits Dr. Boom, I mean, that's freaking good as well, right? But, but, you can also lose. <laughs> yeah, Froden's been playing uh, the Zixo aggro shaman around. He's been on a tablet just walking around. And there was a few of us around him, and he was super behind. There was like six creatures on the board. And seven. the guy was at seven. And the guy what was, you know, in what rag range. Do. So we play the rag, we hit it, we win. <laughs> And then Froden, he climbed to like, he was like rank 3 NA at some point. Doing pretty sick. Sick. Are we talking about Legend? I mean, oh, legend yeah, three. Legend legend 3. Sick. <laughs> Let's play some Russian roulette here. Hit face, everything face. Yeah, you may as well. He saw the Fable Frostbolt. He knows he has a spare part. Oh. Come on. If he hits face now, he'll be very salty if he loses afterwards, right? <laughs> But that's like super. But he always played it safe, right? He's just yeah. But he wouldn't it. hit face because he would have four more creatures. More creatures. Well, actually, he killed all the good rag targets, so there's only bad rag targets. Oh. Okay. So and obviously the second boomba <laughs> will clear off the lower tap. Mm -hmm. That's what you gotta go for. Imagine that would lose him the game, like the tutoide. Yeah. Because he plays yeti then and he has to top deck something. That'd be so crazy. Yeah, the boom bot four to load them. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be GG. Oh, oh my, I, my heart that, just stopped that, for a that moment. Was like, <laughs> he's like, just not four. Just please. So you, do you play the Yeti or do you just pass? That's what Nimsh is thinking about. Would you be 14 life? <laughs> <laughs> Would you really? <laughs> I mean, I, th I think you I play th I think he just doesn't want, I guess he doesn't want to give away his hand. I, but it's, Give away his yeah, hand? Yeah, Twitch should know it's a spare part. Okay, so it's not really... He's hiding know, a Yeti? <laughs> his mind games are beyond me. Yeah, the, the both mind games are very mind game -ish. They both mind game each other so cool. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, okay. So, uh, that makes sense. I can live with this move. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's fine. Eh, not bad. So he was thinking about that. Is it race time? Five damage against four with Mirror Entity. Oh man, Mirror Entity, when you have to top deck a minion. Yeah, he's going it's going to take him three turns to catch up, Nimsh, on that damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. You have to play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. You have to play it. Yeah, and you do. You and you oh pick the lower tip. We're just gonna see everything get cleaned up. These two are just in top deck mode, and they've already used their fireballs. Yeah, he, he, he can kill the two free and ping the lower tip. And the next turn, he can kill the. Or do you just kill the lower tip? Do you just kill the lower tip? Doesn't look. No, so I think strong. you play this and then kill the mech warp. Right? Yeah, I think you kill the mech warp. And ping yeah. the lower tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the lower tip dies because he's gonna clean up, right? But the lower tip can also kill the mech warp. And then he, he still has to trade with the Yeti. Okay, so he doesn't yeah. have to ping the low tip. Yeah. There's no point. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh, sick top deck. <laughs> oh, those, <laughs> those top, top <laughs> decking and ranking right there. Actually, the ping low tip could come into play if he gets armor plating. Mm. Then he would have really wished he pinged it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, time rewinder. Oh man, <laughs> this is so weird. This game. <laughs> I don't. Know, I don't know how it came to this point. How did we get here, guys? Two days ago, you know, this tournament came in. Think about the current meta. Yeah. What to do? What to do? It, it, it is pretty tough, but I don't know what's in Toyd's deck, so I can't say which one's better. If he wants to stall the game out, yeah, it will. or play for value. Like, if his deck's really high value, then he just kills the Yeti 
um, because he doesn't want to die too quickly. He just wants one more turn. Yeah. But um, otherwise, he could go for the value trade. But there's no card he could top deck. Yeah, there's no card he could top deck that would kill him. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if they fully understand the face play, but I guess it um, gives him Frostbolt lethal next turn. And Fireball, of course. That that Frostbolt is actually... Hmm. Wait, what if Grimm's Frostbolt this guy and just goes face and pings face? Is there like a way he can draw no, the I think you just fireball? full clear or freeze and clear as much mm -hmm. as you can. Yeah. But Toity still has like burn left. Grimm has only one fireball left. That's pretty crappy. No, it's not. The reversing switch is five. good. The finicky. Oh no, I'm yeah. talking about the stealth one. Oh, I was okay. just looking yeah, because I'm looking at my yeah. screen. Oh, okay. The reverse, the reverse switch is good. But the stealth one does nothing. Until he draws. I, I guess it protects the two free. Antonidas. Yeah, I think Nimsh is going to hold his. Oh my god, yeah, sure. if he top digs into Nidus. Is it a top deck at this point? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Right, the graphics guy's ready. Perfect. I think you have to trade because you have to be worried about um, the bounce one. You have oh, stealth. Oh, that's true, yeah. Gotta be worried about time rewinder there. Or stealth. Yeah, if Ooh. he got... Interesting. If I was Nimsh, I'd be worried about time rewinder. Or since he has finicky in hand, he could realize that Toyota could. But oh, sick top decks. Yeah. So that's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> Wish Mage had masked a spell. Well Alright. Azure Drake. Into Needs PGA. a fireball. Fireball's fine. Didn't get it. Needs a freeze. Something, needs Something does need tinkering. And that's not, not it. Alright. Okay. So Toyta actually ends up taking it? Yep. And guess what? What? We're going to see that hunter again, aren't we? Yep. I'm so excited. <laughs> now, which deck will Nymph use to beat that hunter? What does he have left? Um, uh, well, just the druid. Oh, the druid and yeah, the mage. Yeah, druid and mage. Nymph has the mage left. We still have priest left over for Toyda, too. Well okay, so Toyda really wants his priest to win against well mage. Although, I th it seems like he's confident against druid. He's beaten druid twice now. Is it? Is it? Yeah, oh, no, no. Yeah. He lost he, well, yeah, it's now. the... Um, What's the name of that card? Resuscitate? I don't know. Sure. Bring back to, <laughs> bring back to life card. Yes. We'll, we'll call it that. Yeah. All right. It's a very nice hat, Luther. It's pretty. So. Yeah. So uh, Twitter really wants this priest to run into the mage, and his hunter to just. He could work for KFC. Well, <laughs> let's just get this game going. Yeah, he's getting you really open nice. priest. You open yeah, priest because you need the priest to win sleep. against the mage. And then Nimsh, if Nimsh went, goes druid, that'd be perfect for him too because he'll get the free win against priest. Hmm. And then he has oh, two man. chances with the mage. I'm, this is the first time I'm actually wishing this guy would play face hunter instead. Oh, hunter. <laughs> hunter versus mage, guys. Okay, so good call from uh, Toyda because Nimsh could have easily gone druid. I like this. Uh, All right. Finally. Finally, like the first time he got a good matchup. Let's hope. Actually, wait, no, this is bad because he was supposed to go priest against yeah, mage. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, he needs... No, 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 no. He needs a win with this hunter. Yeah, he's going... Desperately. Desperately. Yeah. He needs a win against any... <laughs> yeah, he's actually, taking the win. I think the right he's play is to just queue up hunter three times in a row because you just taking, figure out if you can beat anything with it, okay? Yeah. And then let your other decks clean. He's taking any win with this deck. All right. Well, the other two games we saw him like bottom deck the leopard gnome, web, uh, leopard gnome and the loo hoarder, but now he's got he's got him early. So this is <laughs> as good as it gets. Look at his curve just filling right out. Yeah. <laughs> You watch, he's going to play a straight-up game of Face Hunter this game. <laughs> Nimsh's hand on the other hand is pretty amazing. Yeah, he just play. Oh my God, both yeah. Cookmasters. What can a hunter do about it? Nothing. Hmm. Honestly, he could wait. He doesn't have to. He could just Mech Warper because he knows he doesn't play like Glaive Zuka. He will die to the quick shot, though, I guess, if he was thinking about that. Yeah, but how, yeah. is that really bad? 
I guess, because MechWarp is so overpowered. Maybe it is. Yeah. Hmm. I think I would just go for the Mech Warper here. Why do you not play the Cock Masters? Because he cannot have anything. If he quick shot that, he loses the game. Well, <laughs> wait, do you play Is that what will lose in this game? <laughs> do you play both or do you save coin for the Mech Warper? Uh, Chugger turn two then. Yeah, I would yeah. prefer one Cock. Yeah, just one Cock Masters enough, I guess. Yeah. And then you play the. You gotta get Mech Warper to give you a coin. And then, then he can't use the one bow in his deck. I'm all, this all honestly works uh, only because he knows Toy's deck is oh. not that great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, like mean, I can just do, do I whatever mean, I want. It's so likely he draws like a heal bot, right, in, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, uh, yeah, I think that was the best play. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and now he will go for the. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good play. Yeah. I mean, Grims is playing a lot of me uh, mech mage. It's I think it's his main deck. Yeah, it's it's actually exactly the type of deck he would like. And you to. can actually see like that he play like wa mm. was in such situations. He's always been best at uh, aggro decks. Oh, so he wins now, right, Gar? That's what he said. If he <laughs> quick shots that. Yep. But yes, yes. Oh my God, I go again. That's pretty awful. Yeah, Toid's curve isn't too bad if he picks up uh, like a Kodo or a Tundra Rhino. Yeah, Kodo would be sick. <laughs> Wait, you let the guy uh, trade. That, that trade hand. is weird, right? A little I've bit. heard oh, that man. card's won games at Seed Story. Occasionally but it has in the past. It's a powerful card when you think about it. <laughs> it's the second time he got time in from, from West Center. No, no, he drew that. He got oh. the Hungry Crab. Oh, oh. Unless he was <laughs> playing get, Hungry Crab. I'm getting too tired. <laughs> I'm getting too tired. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at what he <laughs> just got. Maybe he even plays Hungry Crab. Look at the fantastic drop he just got out of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that is uh, in a fan death. Doesn't play that. that. Gara plays that in his fan death hunter. Yeah, that is actually amazing to yeah. have to yeah. get that drop in fan death hunter. <laughs> yeah, that's freaking amazing. Because so sick. <laughs> maybe, maybe it will. That's the only time I ever saw Gara winning games is when he had like three eggs and three Nerubians on the board on turn two or something ridiculous. <laughs> it seemed impossible when I looked at it. I was like, what? Coin a Rubin egg into Nerubian egg into Faint Death into Faint Death. Yeah. That's four Nerubs, I think. Something like that. Or three Nerubs. It's a lot of Nerubs. A lot of Nerubs, but you still have the two eggs that protect you from AoE, <laughs> so it's guaranteed win. You know what? I mean, he's got some big scary stuff here. Oh god, mirror entities. Oh my god, yeah, he has a plenty of mirror entities. He has mirror entities for days. <laughs> That's right, because the hungry crab is exactly what you want to get. That's exactly what he wanted from the web spinner. He's totally gonna, oh my god. He knows that this forfeits that. That mirror entity is gonna get punished so hard. Oh my god, he has That's also the combo. Oh That's my god. He has the combo. There you go. Oh, this is fantastic. This is absolutely this this brilliant. This is brilliant. This is one of the best Hound Masters I've seen. I've never seen a Hound Mastered Hungry Crab. No? I did that. By the way, Golden Hungry Crab is so legit that that claw. Yeah. Snapping. It's like, oh my god, you got me good. Another one? Doesn't what have a second crab. You watch, he's going to get a murloc out of that, and he's going to feel so dumb for using <laughs> that crab. Yeah, the charging one. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Toy is so sad. This is so frustrating. Unless he top decks the Kazan. You have, like, the. Oh, that would Kazan. be the sickest. You have the, the slowest hand. Yeah, <laughs> you, you take Kazan, and then you don't draw it. Then you're, like, very, very sad. What do you do here? You'll be very sad. You equip your bow and use your hero power. Oh, and you take so much damage. What is? What can you even draw here? Like you he already used up all his cheap table. minions, except for like haunted. What you say? You have to play Doctor Boom. Yeah, that's the winning play. Take fourteen. Take fifteen to the face. You, you play a bow when you're frozen. And you will get frozen next turn, so you basically not do anything this turn. <laughs> so that can't be the winning You're play. <laughs> not I think, do yeah, Sylvana says, Sylvana says the best. Not do anything can't be the winning play. It <laughs> can't be the winning play. 
Well, this way you have the least. You take the least immediate damage. I think that your your logic is irrefutable, Kara. <laughs> just like not doing anything, this turn can't beat the winning play. Oh my god! You know, power when he has a twenty-six life can't beat a win in winning play when he's a full board and kills him two turns. No way. That is fantastic. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, that's so brutal. <laughs> That was also not the winning play. <laughs> You're right, it was definitely the Dr. Boom. <laughs> it was. Yeah, Dr. Boom was the best player. I'm, I'm pretty luck. sure he'd be ahead right now if he had played the Dr. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the boobots that can go crazy always. Kill like the entire board, you never know. Oh. Ouch. Alright, Nimsh is up. It's conceding with the Two hunter. games. He's going to Druid. Do you want to go the Priest here? Or do you want to stay on that hunter? Dude, you tell us you want to stay on the hunter. Right now, Toy Day, look at it. He's got a smirk on his face. He's like, oh my god, I actually thought this hunter deck was good. <laughs> <laughs> There's like no way that it is, though, right? Like, I'm but, not being a but, dummy But here. seriously, that, that must have been the best matchup for the deck. Like, you take the Kazans, right? You you have the Heobots and stuff. But if you don't beat that, if you don't beat Magmatch, like, what do you actually beat with that deck? Like, seriously. still trying to figure that one out. Toy is still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> There's like, only one way to find out. Like, and, uh, but you're screwed, right? You, you, even if he moves on, he still has to play that. <laughs> to oh, he's just going to man up and do it now. This is it. He is like, okay, boys. Oh, man. That is, you just keep right, it. You just keep the, the cheap stuff. Okay, okay, come on. That, that's got to be. But he didn't draw the feign death also like in five games, right? <laughs> yeah, for the last few games, he did not draw feign death. He has to only have one Fane yeah, Death. Yeah, he plays Fane Death Hunter and he never drew the Fane Death. Right, he so he it. threw that back, yeah. And his quick shot. Yeah, I feel like he he definitely, his win rate would definitely be higher with the eggs. Definitely. Yeah. Look at that hand. Okay. That's finally. This, okay. is, finally. this looks like a really nice deck that I'm looking at. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, he drew both traps. Uh. That's like the games where you lose. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota cannot catch a break with this, man. Oh, man. That's always awkward. No, it's... You just... Yeah, you just... But... I mean, it's too strong. You have to keep first well. I don't think he's worried about the one leopard <laughs> the putting on all the beasts. <laughs> the funny... Yeah, if this would be a normal hunter... <laughs> yeah. He'd be in trouble. But you can expect it to be anything. And now he's looking and he's like, wait a minute. All right, yeah. Full death rattles. What can you do with this? You know what Toyota is doing? He's playing this game with a sideboard. That's what we're seeing here. <laughs> He just switched into, into aggro hunter for this game. I like this Nymph saying, I'll get better keepers later. I have time. You're not going to kill me. I'll just play the Shredder now. But yeah. he knows that, like, I mean, actually against him, silencing the Luthor is pretty good. Yeah, silencing the Luthor is actually pretty good. I, do, that is, uh, I think the Shredder is a little bit better, though. Yeah. But I feel like any play is a winning play. You can keep her the Lepernome and win, too. <laughs> Keep it the face. This, if that, that better not be a moonfire. Yeah, he wouldn't do that. Okay. Keep it the face, probably. I think that's probably still win. Yeah. I wish I could. Yeah, make a bet with Nims right now if he could still win with the keep it the face. <laughs> I must safeguard the. He's testing how far that, he can push that it. I don't understand. Why would? I don't understand that. Why is that better than? Than the silence. Or just well, if you're gonna moonfire, wouldn't you moonfire the leprechaun? And make him trade in if he wants the draw now, because now he gets yeah, the draw. Yeah, it affects yeah, this course, turn. Of course. I think. I guess I he's think afraid Nimsh, of Fain death. I think Nimsh is saying I could do whatever I want mm -hmm. and still win. He's pushing it. He's pushing it. Let's see if he gets punished. He might. This is not a bad hand. Still, he's got Doctor Boom for turn seven already. Look at all those awesome traps he can play. Also, the one Lepanum is so random when you think about it. So random. Well, think about that lethal, right? You top deck the Lepernome while you have Fain Death and. But uh, we saw how Rivendale likely it is, right? It's a like two card combo for four damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you pay one copy. Of one both. mana for four damage. That is like a spell power lightning bolt. Fellas. Happens every okay. game. Yeah. It happens every time. So he drew the, the Innovate, it's pretty juicy. I mean, the Lepernome. <gasps> All right, finally. The dream! Okay. Well, really it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Aww. You play the Haunted Creeper and the... Freezing. Oh, man, he didn't get the... Where's the Fain Death? 
Oh yeah, he might get into the way. Yeah. Oh man, he might not play definitely pretty sick. This is good though. This is good actually. If if, well, there's a chance at a full board next turn. I like that. Yeah. And imagine he could get some crazy stuff out of that shredder. You watch the first shredder thing will Kill. give him like a mill house, and the second one, it'll give him a doomsayer. Oh sweet. Do you go ahead and just take the freezing on the lore in this matchup? Take the nine mana lore. I want to see two mill house mana stone. I want to see him win. He needs two mill house mana stone, right? Something like that. That would be pretty awesome. Well, he's gonna get stolen by mind control tech. He's gonna get silenced and make him very sad. Sounds hero power. This. He's so sad. Yeah. It's so close. There's no way he's gonna tech with the lore, right? Yeah, I guess not. It's a fuck five. The one animal companion. <laughs> <laughs> you get huffer and then push for face damage. I would still play it like a face hunter or like a damage hunter. Like, I don't know this this weird tradings where he's always like behind in cards. It didn't work out the last six games. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did not. I mean, he has explosive shot. He has Doctor GG. If he pushes for some damage, he might actually win. If he, he has two quick shots, one kill command. Yeah, especially if this Baron Revendare comes down for those boom bots. I like those weird trades and then losing. I cast the Hound Master and then go face. Just go face, man. You could also hit the keeper. No. And then your spiders will finish it off. Okay. Okay. No. No, because oh, no. you're freezing trap. All yeah. oh, right. 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 Couple. Well, it, it looks like something. He doesn't have force of nature. That's good news. Hmm. So he can't proc the freezing trap. So at least. I mean, he's at eight in life. Hmm. I don't know the Baron Ritter when there will. Not really have an effect, right? 16 to face with the bombs. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost yeah. lethal. What to do? Just get the half already and top deck a kill command, and then you can see what Hunter can do with two cards. <laughs> <laughs> with the right two cards. <laughs> All right, Nimsh. Come on, Nimsh. The rope is thick. Dude, he's totally gonna mind control something awesome after the Baron Riven there for quadruple spider play. No mind. So the, the face damage dream just died. Yeah. You know, Misha wouldn't be too bad here. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah, and Huffer is also always awesome. Because you just go face and then hit with boom bots and top deck. <laughs> it's so weird. It's more likely he drop top decks a heal bot than a kill command. <laughs> Does he have two heal bots in here? <laughs> he drew heal bot way too often. Yeah, like he, this, like <laughs> he drew more heal bots than Every commands. game he had heal bot every game. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he plays two heal bots. Could be. Heal bots heal for more than kill commands kill. <laughs> it's actually, when you think about that on a per card value, yeah. it's definitely the heal bots. I wonder. Alright, it seems pretty. Straightforward here. Yeah. Toyota, the thing is, he realizes this is literally the hardest deck to play in the whole world. <laughs> to win this deck, you really have to be creative. I know that, I know Hyped, you played a lot of different hard miracle versions, but this one is much this, harder to yeah. win with. Than those. Trade to the keeper. He will trade with the keeper. <laughs> of course he will. Like, why would you, like, you have. Oh. There you go. Whoa. That's how we play Hunter. Down to 12. He did it. He did it. The start. And now if he draws the one bow he has in the deck, that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
doesn't like to draw that till he's frozen. Though. Is there anything in here that can freeze him? I can't believe he's not winning one game of the deck. Like, he's trying so hard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's such a weird deck. He's trying so hard. <laughs> Come on, Dr. Boobon Curve, you can do it. No, go slam it. Do it. He do should. Is, isn't Hap doing anything in the winning play here? Yes, <laughs> just to double check. Just, just Dr. GG. <laughs> just Dr. GG. You're a power pass. <laughs> You're a power pass. You want him to commit more to the board before you play your Dr. Boom. <laughs> Soften him up with explosive <laughs> trap. That's the only way to win. That's, your booms kill four minions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Flame Strike, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Flame Strike. Yeah. He's oh my god. You wait till to die until you can combo with a death. <laughs> you don't play Dr. He needs to get a Tarzan out so that he can also play Baron Rivendare, man, and just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dr. Flame do strikes that. and also does eight to the, his opponent. So that was obviously. Alright, he could do 22 to face. Not quite enough. <sighs> Soon. <laughs> what to do? But it's so funny. I stopped you... looking at the hand of Druid a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Imagine, that, like, the ruin there would be like a kill command and the looter would be like a bow. It would be so awesome. <laughs> 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 it would be winning right now. <laughs> no, oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't care about that hand. That electric uh, electricity is... <laughs> I don't care about that hand. The world is running out of oil yeah, it's right now. It's more fun to watch from this time. So Let's long. just pretend these are all dead cards. <laughs> <laughs> let's, yeah, let's pretend the Druid... Like, Nim's just trying to figure out how far he can push it and still win. He's thinking about not killing. Oh, that's oh, easy. Oh, that's... Okay. that's Dr. That's Flame Strike. Does he get the full boss okay. clear? Oh, well, what? Oh, oh, come on. Like, that's... Un Never lucky. Ridiculous. And the funny thing is, he actually wanted those bombs to hit face. Oh, yeah. Might as well join. Yeah, we may as well look at it. But the, the explosive trap is not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Explosive trap's good. Finally. Here. Quick shot. Oh. That's okay, okay. They're not doing anything. You right. have to hear power. It's the only way to win. You have to hear power. <laughs> hear power every turn and explosive trap and play loot hot and try to get the bow and kill command. It's yeah. the only way to win. Yeah. Even though you play this control deck, like, you need to burst them in. Because guess what? That's why you play Hunter. Mm. You play the explosive trap and then the freezing trap. Maybe then you don't play minions. Mm. Might save your turn. I mean, Sylvanas has got to be stronger than the Freezing Trap. No, you have to hear power. Oh, right, right, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Explosive loot, hero power. Yeah. That's the play. Yeah. You can't play Freezing because he will get a silence back, and you need your death rattles. <laughs> it's very important. I wonder. Oh, man. You can do it, Toy Day. Everyone is believing in you. <laughs> I have no time for games. He's going for the control approach. I guess. Is it lethal with scenarios? Well 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Plus 8, 21. Oh, he's one off. Can you hear a power? Oh, okay, he has, he has lethal. He has Savage Shrew as well, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, it's, it's How much damage But I like that? that you like made it like, so like... It's like Artos said, to cast this game, you cannot look at the Druid's hand. Oh, no, no. <laughs> please don't I, look. I don't look at the life totals <laughs> don't, either. Don't look. After Emperor, please don't look at the Druid's hand. Oh my god. And that means that Nimsh goes on to the round of 16. He just said he shouldn't have brought the hunter. That's no Nimsh told him that. Oh, that was very insensitive. That was Nimsh. a good advice. Oh man. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, my God. We're actually going to be doing the bracket live here okay. very shortly. But first, we're going to talk to Nimsh real quick. All right. Nimsh, congratulations. You didn't actually get to watch uh, Toy Day's Hunter before, Yeah, right? sit down. I yeah, don't know. Sit, sit, sit. All right. Can you guys move a bit? Like, you know, this uh, is the first time on, my, uh, on this couch for me, like, in the last two days. So. I'm kind of tired, like, you know, standing all the time. Oh, my yeah. God. I had a need for a seat, like, all the time. All right. What did you think about that uh, that series and that Hunter deck specifically? So I think like I got an edge because I was able to watch the games that I had played before. So oh, okay. Without that, I, without that, I would be super hard. So I think like I, I really commend Toyda for bringing this deck. Like that was a really interesting deck to play, and uh, like even when I played Mage versus Hunter, I was looking at that Nerubian egg and I was thinking, dude, if he plays Baron Rivender and then Feign Death. Like he's getting two four fours out of nowhere, and yeah. I'm like, I, 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 I better kill that, right? Yeah. So fortunately, he actually played Savannah, and he was in a bad spot. But that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you came into this tournament, were you expecting with the group you had to go on to the next round? Because it's actually a pretty tough group. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty tough group. So uh, coming into this tournament, I knew that my players, like my, my opponents, will play Druid. Like I was, I, I knew that Druid is very strong, and. Uh, I was playing versus Toyota, who was known as a Druid player. He actually didn't bring Druid. That was really surprising. But um, a Gianni Druid was ha was bringing Druid, and RDU had a Druid as well. So mm -hmm. I knew that my strategy is to ban Druid always. Like Druid is, uh, is a really hard deck to counter. And then just um, go with my lineup being diverse. And um, well, Savitz told me that I shouldn't bring my own decks, but I should ask Strifecrow for the lists. In the end, like Savid's like those at my are some list good friends that you have. Nish. Oh yeah, definitely. Your your mm -hmm. decks from Sea Story last time were a little bit. Malaga's Druid was cool. Come on. <laughs> yes, it was cool. Gara wrecked it last time. <laughs> close, close match. Close. Yeah, so close. close. Yes. Yeah, it was a nail biter. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys have any questions for Nimsh? I'm good. Should we see the bracket? Should Let's we see the bracket? bracket. Do we like have the it. bracket ready, everybody? Let's see it. Where is the bracket going to go? Is it, can someone tell me? Sure. Oh, it's on bracket. Okay, let's take a look. You guys the hunter thing, right? All right. So, Group A just, just going to be Savitz, 6 0, Tice, and Orange. Holy crap. Oh, my God. It's so good that I'm not there. Group B, Lothar, Ignite, Nimsh, Powder. Group C, Show, Janie Druid, Alesh, Life Coach. Group D, Oskaka, Maverick, Hyped, Firebat. Okay. Whoa. Hyped, what do you think about your group there? Looks pretty hard. Yeah, Looks it does, hard. doesn't it? Yeah. I heard that Maverick guy played really well. I didn't yeah. get to watch his matches, so now I have to. So, yeah. Yeah, and you Oskaka don't have a whole really lot of time. Well, I guess actually you're one of the last groups, so that works out. Okay, perfect. Nimsh, what about your group? What do you think? Well, so we have three Polish dudes in the whole tournament. And yeah. the first group I get matched against a Polish dude, and now I have another Polish dude in my group. So, um, I think it's rigged. It's definitely rigged. Fortunately, there are no Cloud9 players in my group, but then... I think you're the last one left. Yeah, I'm standing for the team. Yeah, pretty certain of that. For me, the the first group is kind of a group of death. Yeah, it really looks like it. That's like a tough one. That's a scary group. Those are some cool groups, yeah. It looks like there's only one member from each team, except for Nihilum, which has Lothar, Tice, and Life Coach. But everyone else is just like one team or one person representing uh -huh. each team. Cloud Nine, Tempo Storm. Are we oh, two Archon members? Okay. Are we Three guessing Archon who's members. going to win the groups? Yeah, sure. Why not? Go ahead. P please don't point at me. Don't curse me. Let me see what group you're, you're in. Say, let's say <laughs> Sixo is going to win. Yeah. Uh, do no, two I, people I, advance or just, I think two people two advance? Two people advance so. from each group. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Give them. I'll just, the ones, okay. Uh, uh, group A. Hmm. I'll give it to Zixo and Tice. Okay, that's Because I don't know if Savitz's so Hobgoblin deck how it performs, but I hope it does well. Well, it matters how long the Hobgoblin's out, but yeah. Uh, Gara, what do you think? The group A? Yeah. That's a close one. I would say Savitz and Zixo. Like, I haven't seen... I couldn't watch Orange's games. I watched all other, like, from all those three players, and they had, like, good decks that prepared. I think that Zixo would also, like, bring new... No, they can't bring yeah, new no, stuff. Yeah, this is the same decks, yeah. Still, like he was, he wrecked with his lineup. Savish, like one last seed story, 
he's always very solid. Like he's performing really well in tournaments. The, the other two players are also like really good. Like Tyson won remake, and but Orange also like won the Intel Extreme Masters. Like anyone can win in mm. this group. But I like I think that's it's too tough, man, to t to say. I think Savish thinks so because I have to say something, right? Yeah. Okay, Nimsh. Well, I'm going to give it to Savit, my friend, who helped me a lot, because he has the Hubgoblin deck, which is a bit like unexpected. And uh, if that deck gets a ban, that's good for Savit, because then he has uh, strong decks there after that. Mm -hmm. And then if it doesn't, it's really awkward to play against, because it's not like you normally test against Hubgoblin Paladin. No, not so much. And who is your second person? Uh, well, I can't really <laughs> see the group there. It oh my care. god, it's... Um, he doesn't care. <laughs> so, just gonna so we have six of ties, and who's the, the the last one? Orange. Orange. Oh my god, it's it's, it's tough. Um, I'm going to give it to Thais because Thais has more live tournament experience than the guys. Sixo is great, and uh, Orange is are, is great as well. But then Sixo is really emotional and can get stressed. So also he is cursed by you, kind of. Because you said he's going I, to win. Well, I say Tice wins every tournament. That's like literally my number one. Him and Strife Crow. Yeah. Those are, I, every because tournament there because of the like, hard stats, right? You won 10 in a row. Yeah, man. He's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I commentated that. He must be the best. Um, all right. How about Group B? Let's go a little bit quicker. Hyped. Mm -hmm. Group I know B. Ignite has a freeze mage I'm a little worried from, so I'm going to give it to Lothar and Powder. Lothar and Powder, okay. Oh my god, Gar no, fake. And Nymphs. I, I, I give it, and Nymphs. I, I give it to, to Lothar and Powder. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Nymphs? Well, based, I believe in myself, but based on the um, previous tournament uh, experiences, Lothar almost won King Win, Powder just won the uh, UK land, so. They are favored to win, but I will do my best to actually come and talk. I really want Lothar to win something. Like. I'm still waiting for it. Like a tournament, it would be awesome. Mm. Okay. And how about Group C? Uh, show had a pretty dominating uh, first phase. I think he went like 6-1 and one or something. Mm -hmm. So definitely Show and then Life Coach playing really well recently. Cool. I I just like agree like with okay. the Show. Even though the, the Johnny Druid, the, he played actually really well in the games he watched. So it might be like an upset in this group like very easily. Yeah, that'd be cool. And yeah, but besides that, like... Yeah, life coach and show are obviously the favorites to win this group. Okay. Yeah, those guys are winners. They have experience, so they are definitely favorite to win. But Alex is on the roll as well. So. Yeah. And a Polish dude, rooting for for my guy. <laughs> there. Okay. All right. Okay. And all Polish uh, finals, maybe. We'll and see. Then group D is clearly just going to be hyped and hype. So you just hyped and hype. Hyped and hype. You take both the yeah, spots. Yeah. That's pretty sick. No one. You're going to feign your pretty, own death yeah, okay. and take it home, huh? So, nah. what do you think? You have an opinion? Me? Yeah. Tice wins the tournament. Uh, a, a group D doesn't exist. In your group D, uh, just, I don't know. It's I think group D. I did fire back. I mean, yeah, <laughs> group D is obviously like um, Firebat and Oskaka. And then maybe like close third by Merrick and Hype is going to finish last. Just, just kidding. <laughs> just. I think Hype is going to get disqualified because he's playing on two accounts at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Firebat is going to get bored in the middle. And just concede, okay. and then Oskak and Maverick will have a brief. Everyone fight. can win in this group. They'll take it down. Yeah, it's a really strong group. It's Our also like a second group. Of group D, like yeah, group yeah. Of that, yeah, definitely. It's it's a pretty six sack round of sixteen. So I don't know if people know Oskak actually. Like this guy is just wrecking everyone. Yeah, he's I know. super so respected. I know. Every pro has come yeah. up and said that. Uh, so I mean, that looks like a pretty sick set of oh, games definitely. tomorrow, guys. So we're gonna get through that whole round of sixteen. Make sure you tune in. That's going to. That's actually coming pretty soon. Less than 12 hours, like 10 and a half hours. Oh my God! I need to go sleep. Thank you for watching Seat Story Cup Three, day number two. And make sure you tune in in just 10 and. A